30 minute time limit and it is for the Pro Wrestling Eclipse Flame Championship. It's Leah Bond, baby. Introducing first the challenger, making her way ringside from London, Ontario. Former champion in her own right. Looks to be champion once again here in PWE. Yvonne looks happy to be back here in PWE. Last time she was here, she showed a more villainous side. But it looks like she's developed a change of heart since her last appearance. As a matter of fact, the last time she was in PWE, she was pile-driven by Jake O'Reilly. Introducing her opponent from Toronto, Ontario. She is your pro wrestling Eclipse current reigning and defending flame champion. The hardcore princess, Jules Malone. The one and only hardcore princess, Jules Malone. The new two-time Pro Wrestling Eclipse Flame Champion. Jo joining the likes of Stacey Tebow and Xandra Bale as a two-time Flame Champion. This marks her first title defense since regaining the championship. I'll tell you what though, Canada today has kind of been, of a, been a curse for Jules Malone. As a matter of fact, the last time she, she held the championship, she lost it on the Canada Day special here in PWE for the loss to Stacey Tebow. Will the curse continue? Or will Jules Malone retain the championship against Leah Vaughn here? And speaking of Leah Vaughn, I actually spoke to her earlier today in the show, and I mentioned to her that Actually, my YouTube channel featuring a match with Leah Vaughn was actually my most popular uh, video on my YouTube channel. And she said that she was very, she was very happy to be part of the video. That, that time she was facing Jesse Mack, for those that don't know. It, oh, look at that. Literally throwing the jacket right to Leah Vaughn. She is a two-time champion. She looks to hold it longer than she did the last time. That's what it's all about. The top prize in the women's division in PWE. Leah Vaughn, Jules Malone for the Pro Wrestling Eclipse Flame Championship. And the bell's gone. We are now officially underway. I had a baby. Children. Oh, Leah Vaughn had, uh, had a child. Well, let's say congratulations to Leah Vaughn then. Oh boy. But it was gonna be 
There's a mind game played here. But it was just of strength, and here we go. Oh, look at this. Leah Vaughn showing the strength here. Well, Julie Malone now. Oh, look at that. Sweeping, going behind here. Goodness, what a trying to feel each other out here. Oh, needed it right to the midsection. Oh, there's a headbutt right to the chest. Now, Jules Malone off the ropes. Oh, look at that. Leah Vaughn tripping the hardcore princess up. I'll tell you what, I, I've known Jules Malone for a, for a long time now. She will not take that lightly. Forearm shot right to the chest and exchanging forearms now. And Leah Vaughn, the southpaw, taking it to, to the hardcore princess. Irish whip, reversal, off the ropes with Leah, ducks the clothesline, and Leah with a clothesline of her own, and a back elbow. Leah Vaughn in control. Ooh, bit of a glancing blow with a drop kick. And now, oh, there's a bit of a stinger splash by Leah. Leah Vaughn now, Irish whip, Jules Malone into the opposite corner. Now, running, going for the Aluva kick, but Jules Malone moves out of the way, and there's a running hip attack. And it's not Mare. And look at this, snapping the neck, shades of the late Mr. Perfect. Now, Jules Malone looking at the arms, butterfly suplex. Or should I say the hardcore butterfly suplex? Leo Vonho was able to get the shoulders up in time. With a handful of hair now. And now, ooh. Leah Vaughn eating the turnbuckle now. At, thanks to Jules Malone. That's three of them now. And now Jules looking for the fourth one. Going for the Grand Slam, but... But no way. Oh, uh, uh, big time clothesline. Leah Vaughn was you know, going for a cover there, but it looked like she had a boot right to the throat. Leah Vaughn was, was looking to get a little bit of payback there. Shoving Jules Malone right to the turnbuckles. But Jules Malone once again right on the attack. Now into a bit of a sleeper hold. And Leah Vaughn trying to get back up onto her feet. And Jules Malone has that sleeper hold well applied. Will Leah Vaughn be able to get back into it? Taking a look, look right at it, seeing if it's if she's actually choking her. There's an elbow right to the midsection now. Oh, ooh, spinning kick. And, and another one. Big time clothesline. There's a cover, hooks a leg, and a kick out at two. Irish whip and ooh. Leah Vaughn follows her. Irish Ribbon. And there's another knee. And now looking looking for the Russian Lake sweep and nails it. There's a cover. And a kick out at two. As the match progresses, stay tuned for our next upcoming event, September 22, September to remember, right here at the Oshawa Legion. Oh, there it is, the Haluva kick. Now, 
Hooks the leg. Oh, fisherman suplex there. Hooks, hooks both legs and Jules Malone kicks out. Leah Vaughn now setting up Jules Malone here. Setting her up. Oh, look at this. Oh! Sit out, power bomb. But no. Just barely getting the shoulders up. This is mine. Jules Malone now setting up Leah Vaughn. Now into the fire woman's carry. Look at perhaps looking for the crown jewels. But nope. Leah Vaughn fights out of it. Has her up and into the fire moments carry of her own. Jules Malone fights out of it as well. And oh, look at this. Here we go. go. Going for the crown jewels. There it is. And Jules Malone retains the title. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and still your pro wrestling Eclipse Flame Champion, Jules Malone! In her first title defense, the Crown Jewels once again prevails and the Hardcore Princess retains the Pro Wrestling Eclipse Flame Championship, which means the curse on Canada Day is over. Malone still the Flame Champion. But speaking of champions coming up, our main event, it is champion versus champion. Diener versus Turba coming up next. Stay tuned.